how y'all doing out there? This is Pete over at DIY Auto School and what we're going to do today, we are going to paint some interior car parts. Now when I say interior car parts, I'm talking about your dash pad for one, um, your door panel, accessories, uh, anything that happens to be vinyl or plastic inside your car. Now there's a special way to do that and there's a special paint that you can purchase to make all this happen. So let's go ahead and start out and uh, get this thing going so you, the viewer, knows how to do it right. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. some good industrial leather gloves. We want to protect ourselves every way we can and on this particular job this is the main thing that we're going to use is the rubber glove. Always wear rubber gloves when necessary because chemicals can penetrate in through your hands and we don't want that to happen um, to mess with our system or uh, maybe possibly take years of our life off of us the human being that we are so always wear protection when protection is necessary when it comes to doing anything and everything uh, that you want to do in life now that that's covered let's get on with the situation so what we got here we got a dash piece this is a plastic molded dash piece out of an old car I would say I think this is a 1978 or possibly an 88 uh, Land Rover and this is actually the upper dash. Let me turn it around so you can kind of visualize how it goes. This would be your dash right here. Your windshield would be in this area. It would come down and then your gauges would be down here. And what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and refinish this to brighten it up and make it look brand new. Now I do want to show you this piece right here. You can take a good look at that. And somebody already went ahead and painted this. And I don't know what they used to paint it with, but it came out really, really nice. But we're going to go ahead and paint this along with this to make sure and ensure that everything matches perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back over so you can get a better look at it because it's leaning the opposite way. And I want to make sure that everybody sees this. I want you to pay attention and look how filthy and dirty this dash is. Another thing I want you to look at is that this dash doesn't just have dirt on it but I can feel the armor all and the scum that has been penetrated and built up on this probably for many many years and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to completely clean this to where it's a brand new virgin style factory original piece that we're going to be able to paint um, one thing that you want to do before you do anything is you want to take out anything and everything that is a different color now I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but these are actually a shade darker than our dashboard. Um, it kind of matches this, but you can still tell that it's a little bit dark. So we're going to go ahead and remove our air vents, which these will probably be the defrost vents up here. We're going to go ahead and remove those out of the dash piece. And the way that you want to do that, you locate your air vent on the back side of your dash piece or whatever you're working on. And there should be some small clips. You want to put your hand on one side, push those clips, and then you can see right there that they pop right out. And this is pretty much universal on these and should all come out very easily. Now on this particular one right here, I see that this actually is riveted on, or it had a rivet at one time or something. We can see that right here, okay? But we're going to go ahead and remove that as well and then repeat our process by taking our vent out of the dash. So before we go any further, I want to go ahead and clean the inside of our dash just like as we are going to clean 
the outside of it. Because to do a professional and high quality job, you want to make sure that everything is cleaned properly so there's no excuse of anything falling on the backside while we're painting it or any dust, trash, or dirt getting in our paint job when we paint. And the way that I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and take a white ball. This is a paint body white ball, um, not a mechanic white ball that you would buy at your auto parts store, but something that you would purchase at your paint and body shop supply store. And we're going to go ahead and take some regular old uh, rubbing alcohol. We're going to saturate our rag and then we're just going to wipe this down by saturating the plastic to, and letting it penetrate into the plastic itself. Believe me, plastic has pores just like anything else. We're going to go ahead and get every minute spot that we can get and make sure that this baby is going to be clean. And then you can see as I open up my rag, you can see how filthy and dirty that piece was underneath. So we're going to uh, continue to wipe that just barely by going back and wiping it down until we see that it starts to evaporate and disappears. Making sure to get all our edges and if you drop your rag, guess what? Get the one you got in your pocket out because you're going to need more than one rag anyway. And then I had one more piece here. I don't know what that goes to, but I'm sure it goes to something on the dash itself. We're going to go ahead and flip that over and then we'll repeat our process by cleaning the inside of this as well. And then once we went ahead and wiped it off with our wet rag, we're going to go ahead and take a dry rag and this is only to do a tack job to get all the dust off and to ensure that our piece is dry and clean. And you can already see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but we can already see that this piece is really cleaning up good. Okay, now that we went ahead and cleaned the back side of it, and we know that's nice and clean, what we're going to do is flip our dash over, and once again I want to turn it this way so you can see what's going on. And I'm trying to get the whole dash in the picture. i got to get a little bit close so you can see what's up. So I'm trying to move the dash back and forth so you can see that. But uh, what we're looking at now is the top of the dash. Probably never been cleaned in a very long time. And we're not going to use rubbing alcohol on this. What we are going to do is we are going to use denatured alcohol. This is a whole different type of chemical. This is not the same as rubbing alcohol. This is more of an intense type of alcohol that's usually used for uh, fuel burning stoves. You can see that right there. And it is very extreme and very strong, so be very careful with this. Another thing we're going to use is a soft Scotch-Brite. Do not use a red Scotch-Brite in this. You will scratch the surface. You want to use the gray Scotch-Brite and you want to make sure that you rub very, very easily on that, not to excess the pressure, let the pad do the work, and not to scratch your surface. So we'll go ahead and pour our denatured alcohol out, and then we will go ahead and scrub our dash down, just like you're seeing me do, with the denatured alcohol, not the rubbing alcohol making sure to clean every porous and every piece that we can. And it's very important to make sure that you keep your Scotch-Brite nice and wet. And then, once we've went over it with our denatured alcohol, we are going to go ahead and use our rubbing alcohol on top of the denatured alcohol. And what this will do, this will ensure that it is clean. Look at this. Do you see what we're talking about here? We're talking about a mess. We're talking about a filthy, filthy, filthy mess going on here. Look at that. And you just want to keep on cleaning and cleaning as much as you can to get as much off as you can. Wax and grease remover will not work on this. Wax and grease remover 
will actually make your product fisheye and uh, stain. So stay away from wax and grease remover when doing this job. I went ahead and switched over to a, a nice clean old towel um, because the white balls weren't really penetrating into the uh, grain of the plastic and this towel is actually working a lot better to do what we needed to do. So we found out that the white ball works good on the back side but on the front side it's really not doing us any good. Now I want to focus on this corner right here. We got uh, some kind of little mess going on where there's gunk that's embedded into the grain of the plastic. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take a used wire brush, I'm going to go ahead and wet it down with my uh, yeah, rubbing alcohol and then we're just going to go ahead and work that out very easily to clean it off. And then we'll go ahead and take our towel with our rubbing alcohol still on it and we'll wipe that down. And it appears in this corner here, it looks like this has been gouged out or something and uh, I don't know what's going on so there's nothing we can do about that. But we know that it's clean. That's the main thing. We know that the dash is clean. And then of course we're going to go ahead and repeat our process on this piece of dash that we're going to paint by using our denatured alcohol once again to make sure that the surface is thoroughly clean and what can we say, uh, sanitized. And then we'll take a dry part of our towel, drying it off. And you can see how dirty this thing is just by looking at it. We're going to go ahead and repeat our process with our rubbing alcohol, cleaning it off. And making sure that the surface is paint ready. Alright, now that we have everything cleaned up, I'm trying to clean off my paint table here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the type of paint that we are going to use for our project. So what we got here, this is a specifically designed applicational paint and you can see there's the dot right there. This, is, this paint is a design of paint that is specifically for painting vinyl interior and plastic pieces. Now I have this mixed, okay, and then what I did is I went back into the mixing room, I had the piece that was already painted, and then I fine-tuned the color to make sure that it matched right. So uh, this quart right here of this vinyl spray paint, all right, which you need to have a spray gun to use this, one quart of this was $68, all right. This is a $68 can. I want to open that up and I want to show you what it is. And then if you look right there, you can see there's our paint, which is paint ready. All right, this is a paint ready product. You don't use any type of reducers, clear coats, or anything. It's a very fast drying, uh, possibly uh, as close to lacquer paint as you can get. And it is very high quality. Um, there's also a company out there that actually makes spray cans and that is for vinyl. They specifically make them for vinyl and plastic and if you use that you aren't going to have the custom match that you would get doing this right here and the quality of the spray can is about one-eighth compared to the quality of using the paint that you would have mixed yourself. And I'd like to go ahead and refrain that. This is not lacquer, okay? Uh, it's the closest thing to lacquer paint that you could possibly get. This is more of a urethane base coat paint, but it has an additive in there to give it a semi-gloss shine. 
and is a single stage type paint that does not require any hardeners or activators to make it work. So now what we want to do after we've stirred it up, you can see how thick that goes on. You can see just by looking at the stick, that's a very thick paint. Now that we got the paint stirred up, we want to go ahead and strain our uh, vinyl dye into our paint cup, always using a strainer for everything. We don't want to lack on using strainers. And then, once that's done, we're ready to go into the paint booth and get some painting done. So let's get up in the paint booth and get her done. look better than brand new. Let's get a close-up look at them and see what we got. So it's been approximately five to ten minutes and I'm going to go ahead and touch this piece right here and you can see that this is already dry. This is a dry situation and it's ready to go into the car. You can also see, um, I don't know if you can tell from night and day, but by using my vinyl paint versus the paint that whoever painted them before, you can see that this actually looks like brand new plastic vinyl that was purchased from the factory. Look how nice and clean the dash came out, beautiful job, I like it, and I think it's going to be a worthy and long-lasting piece of equipment that will save the owner of this vehicle lots and lots of money as they are restoring their 1978-86-42, whatever it is, Land Rover, uh, yeah, 4x4 Jeep. So, that's the situation we got, and that is the way that you do it. I hope this video helped you out by doing what you need to do, do it yourself style, at home, in your garage, without the big guys sticking it in your ass and taking advantage of you to do a nice, clean, minor job such as this. Make sure to watch all my other videos that I have posted on this YouTube channel right here, and please subscribe to my channel as my friend Pete brings as many videos of information that he can possibly bring to you, the viewer. We'll see you later. Classes don't stop till you know everything.